So the left-hander Bao Chun Lai, the 20-year-old from Hunan province, unseeded in these world championships up against the number five seed Xi Chuanzhe. So Bao Chun Lai, former world junior champion, won that title in the year 2000 when the event was played in China. This his first world senior championships. Winner of only one international title, Grand Prix title, and that was the Danish Open back in 2001. But he's been in tremendous form throughout these championships, has Bao Chun Lai. And looking at his path through to today's semi-final, beat the number 15 seed in the second round, and then in the third round, the number three seed and bronze medalist from two years ago, Torfik Hidiak of Indonesia only took 37 minutes to dispose of him and then the quarter-final beat Roslyn Hashim of Malaysia again two straight games so his opponent Shia Swanja 24 years of age and he's had a much tougher route just look at the names there Wujaya of Singapore he's a world-class player then Park Tai Sang of Korea Lin Dan teammate precocious talent from China took second game very comfortably there and then yesterday in the corner final beat the number two seed Kenneth Jonasson of Denmark 15 10 in the decider one hour and 35 minutes for that match and I just wonder whether that might have taken a little too much out of Xie Xuanzhe But certainly the more experienced of these two men. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Bao Chun Lai, China. <laughs> and on my left, Xia Zhuanzi, China. So, umpire goes Yang of Malaysia. Xia Zhuanzi to serve. Final Love announcements all. of Play. the players. And Xie Xuanzhe, far side of the court as we look down, the number five seed up against his young teammate, 20 years of age, Bao Chun Lai, unseeded and yet in a world championship semi final. Darren, the, uh, the fact that Xie Xuanzhe yesterday beat the number two seed, Kenneth Jonasson of Denmark, 15 10 an hour and 35 minutes. How much effect do you think that will have on his performance today? Well, it, if, as the game goes on, it might take the edge off him. We saw in the other semi-final when Sean played Wong. Again, he had a hard match in the quarterfinals. It had a telling effect. He, he looked jaded. So I think she will be going for it, but I think he'll want two sets, fully focused for two. He's certainly the more experienced of the two men. Xie Xuanzhe, All England champion in the year 2000, Olympic bronze medalist in Sydney, winner of the Grand Prix finals again in the year 2000, but he's had a, a lean couple of years. Ah. Won the Japan Open Green in left. April earlier this year, and that was his finest title for 16 months. lovely well certainly these early stages Darren no sign of fatigue no absolutely not he'll definitely want to knuckle down he won't want to play the long rallies he want to focus finish the rallies off as quick as he can take his chances
quite surprised yeah. how attacking Xie Xuanzhou is at the moment in his style. I w I've, I've always assumed he was more of a player that just liked to rally with his opponent. But I guess your point about the fact that he doesn't want to be out here forever, he, he wants to finish it off quickly. Yeah, exactly. He's being patient with the rallies, but he's putting a lot of pressure, a lot of building shots, good cut drops, good variety of cross smashes. So he's, he's really focused on this game. Bao just looks a little bit nervous, a big stage for him at the moment. Service over, love five. But what are the youngsters' qualities? It's a uh, tremendous deception. Um, it reminds me of a, a young Zhao Zhenhua from China. Um, very tall player, good angles, gets up there high. Zhao Zhenhua, of course, winning the world title in Copenhagen in 1991. And again, a left-hander. Is, is it an advantage to be a left-hander? Does it cause more deception? Yes, I think it does. I mean, we look at the left-handers. Uh, we look at this rally here. Up he goes, holds it. Lovely straight smash. They're just very good at creating better angles. Amazing defence from Xie Xuanzhou. Yeah, fantastic defence. He was on the floor somehow. It's such a strong wrist to get a lift back over Bao's head. Seven, one. Well, this really has been a tremendous start from the number five seed. Beltran lie perhaps a little bit nervous still? Yeah, I think he's a little bit nervous. I think the good thing for Shear is that they obviously practice with each other day in, day out. So he knows his deception. He's used to it. He's not going to be caught off by anything. Service over. One, seven. I suppose there's a psychological advantage as well. If you, if you practice against somebody day in, day out, and if you keep beating them in practice, then you come to a match situation, you're going to be full of confidence. Yeah, exactly. And especially at a stage like this, there's a lot of pressure. It's for a final of the World Championships. And, and at the moment, he's looking very confident with his game. Eight. Service over. Seven, one. Yeah, Bow thought that was in. Very close to the line, thought it made it. Okay. Service over. Perfect One on seven. clear. Service over. 7-1. Xuan Zhe really is playing a very tactically astute game at the moment. He's not allowing his opponent to play his normal sort of attacking game. No, exactly. And if he does give the lift away, the good thing is he's getting it back. And that's he's just getting the next one back, making Bao, Bao play another shuttle.
Oh, that is incredible. In one. Yeah, great play from Shear there. It's really using every angle of the court. He's getting up there very meticulous in what he's doing at the moment. And so quick to get behind the shuttle at the back of the court, so he has so many options. That's right. He's about hit some good, good smashes, some good drops. But Shear gets his racket to it, gets it back, and then up it goes and straight behind the shuttle, as you say. Oh, he's done it again. That's remarkable. One. Yeah, incredible movement from Shear. As you see, picks a smash up, gets his racket on it, net shot, up it goes. The pace he goes behind the shuttle, though. Superb cross-court smash. Three in a row. Surely Bao Chun Lai should start looking for this now. Yeah, absolutely. You, if you get beaten once, you think, OK, not again, but this has happened for the third time. Third time in four rallies? Yes. Service over, one ten. wide to ten. He looks a little bit casual with that shot and perhaps overconfident. Yes, I think so. It, I mean, he's in total control of the game at the moment. He's very methodical in what he's doing. He's just got to be careful that he, he tries to keep the pressure on and keep his focus and don't get too overconfident. Three, ten. typical of Sheer Xuanzhe in a way. So often I've watched him play and he's absolutely brilliant for half a dozen rallies or so. And then he seems to go off the boil, lose his focus, make some forced errors and he allows his opponents right back into the game. Yeah, exactly. As we're seeing here, it's, you know, he's made four really unforced errors, wasn't under the pressure. He seems to be going in fits Five, and spurts ten. at the moment. As we see here, you know, he, he got the lift. Again, middle of the net. Purely a lack of concentration? Yeah, just it's just, again, all of a sudden, I bet you'll see in the next couple of points, he'll tighten up again and, and look a little bit more determined. He just goes a little bit soft during the middle of the rallies. Six, ten. As you say, and, and Bao's confidence will be growing. At each point, he's gradually clawing his way back into the match. <laughs> Service over. Ten, six. Well, he's got the serve back again, but it has to be said that he gave away five points in that service hand. It wasn't necessarily that Bao Chun Lai worked to win the points. Now, can he regain that form he showed earlier on? Eleven six. 
Yeah, this time Bao coming to the net, does everything right, gets to the net early, had the control of the rally there, just played a bit too tight. Service over, 6-11. Yeah, you can gradually see Bow is, is finding his touch. It's starting to come now. Lovely net shot, extremely close. Great spin on it. but really pulling Shear all round the court. Shear doing well, get his racket on it. Just one too many there for him. I have to say, I really do find it extraordinary, this lack of total focus throughout a match with Shear's Ranger. I've seen it time and time again, and, you know, I look at the results from last year. He played nine tournaments. In eight of them, he was seeded number one, seeded number two in the one other tournament he played. He only reached one final. And time and time again, I'd see him playing matches, and he would go to three games or he'd make games much harder than he's, they need be simply because of this lack of com concentration. By the time you come to the end of the week, the end of a World Championships, it's going to take its toll. Oh. Service over. Yeah, absolutely. 11-8. E. He had a nine-point cushion at one stage in this opening game and led 10-1. Class player is the ability to turn on the extra pace when is needed. Yeah, like we saw in that rally, up he goes, exploded into both corners. Great smash to finish it. with himself there, Bao Chun Lai. No, he came to the net, he, he, he played everything right, rack it out early, took it early, but again, his margins at the net too tight at the moment. from both players there. Bow doing well to get it back. Plays a lovely cross court himself. Slightly concerned there, Darren, about Xie Zhuanzhe just sort of going over on his ankle, appeared to, as he lunged forward to that net shot. Yeah. Seems to be OK, but uh, for a moment there, it looked nasty.
Service over. 13-8. Far more aggressive. It, it seems to me when he's been attacking within the rallies that he's enjoyed a lot more success. Yes, he has. You know, sometimes he tries to conserve his energy. He did have a hard match yesterday against Kenneth Yonason. But you feel, you know, if he, if, if he pushes himself a bit harder, he might finish the match a bit quicker. 14, Good judgment at the back of the court from Shia Schranger. And he earns himself a game point. Service over. Great angle from Bausch and Light. Yeah, changing direction there. Up it goes. Lovely cross court. Very steep. And the court will need some attention. The players dive around the court there. Use the hands on the court surface as balance for getting themselves back up into the base position. The sweat from the perspiration from the hands left on the court surface and it can become very slippery. Oh, that's brilliant. So it's over. 14, eight. Yeah, she is raising himself for the bigger points. You can see he's more focused on them like he was doing at the first part of the game. Second game point. Service over. Game well saved 14. yet again from Bausch and Light. Yeah, Bell, a tall player, very long, long reach. The angles he can create, quite incredible. Service over, 14-8. On the low serve, not low enough over the net, giving ample opportunity for Shear to step forward and attack it immediately. Third opportunity. Oh, Service over. Wonderful. Here's 14. Again, we see the variety from Bow. He's hit a cross court smash from both angles, this time taking the pace off it. Again, up he goes in that forehand, very tall, long reach, lovely slicing into the corner of Shear. That's nice, one metre 86. That's about six foot one and a half by Chun Light. Great reactions from Bao there. Well, he made three winners from that cross-court half smash earlier on in this opening game. Deception from Bao then held his wrist, saw Shear move away from the net, and at the last moment, a little tiny flick of the wrist pulling it cross court. Oh, 
service over, 1411. Just sense that the number five seed needs to close out this opening game. Yeah. Pretty smartish. This is fourth game point opportunity. early on in that game takes the opening game 15-11 11. yes and he's pleased with that because his opponent was making inroads catching up the ball play neither player getting any help from coaching staff in that 90 second timeout both the players from the same nation and therefore just left to it. A bit like the old days, Darren, when we weren't allowed coaching. No, absolutely. It's uh, players having to think for themselves now. Again, is it going to be the same pattern in the first game? Is he going to try and get that lead, build up, coaster in the middle of the game and save it for the end again? Service over. Did you ever allow yourself the luxury of when you'd built up a big lead, just relaxing a little bit, knowing that you had something in reserve? No, I, I try to finish the game as quick as I can, get home, get rested for the next match. Service over, one look. Be very disappointed with that. Made a good opener. It was all there for the taking. Look how he relaxed on it. Oh, it's landed in one all. Oh, well inside. Service over. One all. Service over. One all. Again, Bao having a lot of success up in that forehand corner. I'm surprised she keeps lifting it to him, serving high up to him like that. Service over. One four. Well, you won't see a better drop shot than that. Yeah. Shuttle clipping the top of the tape. Perfect. Yeah, he'd be pleased with that. He made the mistake last time. This time, it's more effort, more focus on it. Three. Look, it didn't look as if Boucher and Lai retrieved that. No, fantastic. I thought it was a winner. Somehow got his racket down to it. And then Shear, the same thing. Service 
of his over one three. Why you need to stay alert at the net. Great reactions. play from Shear there, a lot more force, he, he, when he is on the attack he looks a different player. That's incredible. So Three, four. Fantastic deception again, goes up into his forehand, completely brushes across the side of the shuttle. But your point, Darren, the fact that he's hitting so many winners from his forehand side. You have to wonder Four, why his three. opponent isn't hitting it, if he's going to lift it down the backhand side. Yeah, exactly. You know, if, if he's going to give the lift away, round the head of Bell, but every lift is going up in the forehand side with his strongest weapon. Service over, three, four. Yeah, better from Sheard, good driving, kept the pressure on. Finally sees the opening in the other side. Brilliant. I just couldn't get the shuttle defensively back over his opponent's head. No, Shear coming in, kept the pressure up, kept fast. Saw Bow was at the back of the court, delicately played a net shot. Service over. You know, you've got to wonder, the longer this match goes on, is the effect of Shear's match with Kenneth Jonasson from yesterday going to take toll? Service over. Four all. Again, nice return from Shear there. Up he goes, easy kill. His opponent just kept the shuttle coming back. Yeah, I think he won that rally twice, Joe. I'm sure he hit a shot that was literally out of the doubles court. Yes, there was a sort of gasp from the crowd. Couldn't believe that Bao Chun Lai had actually hit the shot down his backhand side. Over. What a waste after four, fighting four. so hard in that last rally. Oh. 
service over. For all. Well, the wry smile from Xie Xuanzhe. Couple of simple errors in the last Five, two rallies. Four. Yeah, and it, you can see his, his, his body language a little bit. He's, he's starting to look a little bit jaded. Service over. Four, five. Do you think he has to win it in two straight if he's going to come out on a top of this match? Absolutely, Jill. Yeah, I, I, I really believe that. I think he's, he's got to knuckle down, get through this middle part of the game. I see. I think you'll see him up in his pace trying to finish it he really won't want to go to three oh another simple so error five four yeah absolutely easy kill for him really again it's his focus his concentration really let him down there again and he simply didn't move his feet into position no he was, he was very lazy on the shot Service over, four, five. You know, so often in matches, we know that it gets crucial when it gets 11 or 12 or towards the end of the game. But so often, I think at the early stages, he's won the opening game. If he could pile on the pressure now, he could actually sort of break his opponent mentally. And yet he, he seems not to be playing with the sort of urgency that he would at 12 all. No, that's right. And also, you know, if he can get a little lead, he sees he can see light at the end of the tunnel then. He's near the finishing post. That was better from him though. What he was doing at the beginning of the first coming in. Good knock off from Bow at the net there. Played a good net shot, stood his ground, waiting was rack it up, committed himself to winning the rally. Service over. Well the lift from Bow Trin Light was oh. woefully short. Yeah, you can see a push at his body, tries to lift it over his head, but got nowhere near it. Service over. Five all. Shuffle sitting on the top of the tape and then deciding to go over. Service over. Five, four. Yeah, good play from Shear here. Good smash. Gets her early at net. He's, he's flicked off many a time. This time, delicate little net play. Bouch and Light before this tournament hadn't enjoyed too much success in the Grand Prix events this year. Best results for round of last 16 in the All England. Six, 
Yeah, good play here. You can see he's sensing it now. He's a bit more positive with his play, a lot more attacking, just what he needs to do at this stage in the game. In five. And Bao Chun Lai perhaps realising that time is running out and trying one or two shots that may be a little over ambitious. Service over. Five eight. Yeah, Bao should be patient. Really got to make sure you move the length and distance of the court. Six eight. Over eight, six. Yeah, good smash from Shear. Up he goes, gets a lift. Lovely cross court angle. Fault, service over. Six, eight. This time Shear tries the flick from the net. I think perhaps net shot would have been better. Wasn't long enough. Service over. In six. Very in the pace of the attack. Bao keep trying to play the net return. He's, he's made a few errors on it in the last three points. Service over. Six, nine. Well, once again, I'm just watching the the movement. He was leaping in the air, but his his body weight was still going backwards in court as he hit the smash. It's no wonder he made the error. Service over. That's a classy shot. Yeah, great play from Shear then. Good punch clears into the backhand corner of Bow. Knowing where the return's coming. Full angle of the court. Nine six in this second game, having taken the first 15-11. Six. Again, a nice cut drop from Sheer Bow getting down to it but making the error. Yeah, that's clever. Eleven six. Little hold and flick on that last rally. So often he's got to the net early, played the little net shot. That time doing something different. Twelve six. Edging ever closer. Three points away now for Sheer Schwanzer. Now just the two. Thirteen six. Six thirty. Yeah, he needed that. He's missed his last lot of opportunities. He's just gone a bit soft. 
that time made no mistake with it. Of course, we know that the winner of this semi-final will play against Wong Chun Han of Malaysia. Service over. Wong Chun Han, 13, a left-hander. We've never had a World Championship men's singles final with two left-handers contesting it. Time the net kill did Bao Chun Lai and therefore match point to the number five seed. Out. Oh, so it's over. It. Six fourteen. He likes his flat, fast interchanges, doesn't he, uh, Boucher and Light? Yeah, he likes to be pushed out. He can create a good angle off it. Service over. 14-7. So once again, an opportunity to book his place in the final. This time he does it. And Shia Xuanzhe beats teammates. Bao Chun Lai in convincing style in the end. Little pick up Match in the opening game. But certainly when he was attacking, he was looking very impressive. Lack of focus in that opening game, having been very much in command. But the final score 15 11, 15 7.